My name is Asha Patel and I'm a postdoc at the Anderson and Langer Labs at the Koch Institute here at MIT. Um, the images were taken as part of a collaboration um, with the University of Nottingham based in the UK. An overarching aim of the project was to screen for materials that would support clinically relevant cell types such as pluripotent stem cells and human heart cells. Um, an analogy is if we wanted to buy a custom fit suit, we wouldn't be able to pick one off the shelf. We would have to visit the tailor. They would know which specific measurements to take in order to create a custom fit suit for us. Similarly, with different cell types, um, we need to create biomaterials tailored for that cell type. However, the major problem is that for cells, we don't know which measurements or material properties are critical for the cell to thrive on these materials. And so in this situation, parallel screening techniques are ideal for probing hundreds of different material properties such as chemistry, um, surface stiffness um, that may influence the cell phenotype. During the screening process we culture cells on different polymer islands and then look for markers to let us know how the cells respond to the polymers that they've attached to. The image I've created is a compilation of polymer islands taken from different microarrays that were screened for um, specific purposes um, for that project. One application for these screens is to look for materials that will support a more mature phenotype of the cardiomyocyte or heart cell. So one way we look to see if a cardiomyocyte is more mature is to stain for cardiac alpha actinin, um, which in the image can be seen as the red stain. Um, this protein is found in the muscle fibers within the heart cell. And if they are banded parallel to each other and at an optimal spacing, then this indicates the cardiomyocyte or heart cell is more mature compared to a immature cardiomyocyte, which would display um, disorganized banding. Another branch of the screening project was to develop fully um, characterized synthetic substrates for the culture of human pluripotent stem cells. So these cells are incredibly valuable as they can differentiate into a wide variety of cells such as cardiomyocytes and they can also self-renew um, and produce large banks of cells. So currently the cells uh, may be um, cultured on matrigel which is a um, protein mixture very complex and undefined and it's derived from mouse um, carcinoma cells. So during our screens we found a synthetic um, polymer that was able to replace this biologically derived matrix and able to maintain the pluripotency of our stem cells. And to um, characterize this, we used a pluripotency marker called OCT4, and in the image it stains red. Um, the blue stain you can see is staining for nuclei. The Anderson and Langer Labs really pioneered the use of robotics in screening for biomaterials suitable for tissue engineering and drug delivery purposes. Um, Morgan Alexander's lab at the University of Nottingham specialises in characterisation techniques of material properties to then correlate that to cell response and Chris Denning's lab based at the University of Nottingham has expertise in stem cell biology. And the breadth of research going on across these labs really um, highlights the interdisciplinary nature of the research required when developing new biomaterials.